There you go then, a decade that needs no introductions, a bit like my next two guests actually. For the whole of this week, Club Tropicana is on at the Norwich Theatre Royal for all of you out there who want to relive that era that brought you big hair and pop magic. This is the musical for you, brought to you from the production team who took Hairspray on tour. This cast is full of household names, including former X Factor winner Joe McKeldry, and we've got Kate Robbins in the studio as well. Hey guys! Hello! Hello. Uh, Lovely to be here. Uh, were you dancing along to those songs? Uh, well, we do hear them every <laughs> night. Yeah, you do them every night. And we do night. dance in the show, so... Uh, yeah, I, 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 you're not sick of them, are you? No, yeah. not, oh, no not at all. We they're quite, they're quite, it's quite funny, isn't it, because they're such catchy songs that you find yourself singing them even off stage. You, you know, weren't even born in the 80s, were you? 91. No, well, there you go, but even he likes them. But we love the 80s. Yeah. I mean, you've got to... You don't have to love the 80s to come see the show. No. But I think most people know those hits, and the comedy of the show is really what, what gets people cracked up. Is, is, is the the pace that it goes along, isn't it? Yeah, really. It's just it's just wild and wacky, really. It's yeah. just we don't take ourselves too seriously. We just have a bit of fun, and the audience kind of quite naturally it's happened. It hasn't been forced. They've kind no. of become a part of the show in a, in, a, in a sense. Well, tell him tell him what it's what you're the so you play. You're like El Grand Jefe in there, aren't you? What's that? Huh? The big boss. Oh. I'm not. I'm not oh, actually. You're not actually. Well, I'm the right, entertainment's okay. manager. We have Robin Serena who own the hotel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So me, Robin Serena, and Consuela. Kate, please, I'm Consuela. The, I'm the Consuela. I like this, like this, like this. You know, I talk like this most of the time. But, but then I do impressions as well. Oh, yes. nice. So I'm an impressions doing um, cleaning lady. Yeah. And you play um, the entertainment's manager, kind of who's trying to run the yeah. hotel. But we treat the audience as kind of the audience of the hotel. Yeah. Show. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, so they're on holiday, they're, they're on in holiday. the hotel. Yeah. The hotel's called Club Tropicana. Yeah. The drinks are not free, unfortunately. No, they're oh. not. <laughs> and me and Consuela, well, I have the idea that we're going to dress Consuela up and do loads of impressions to make the hotel inspector think the hotel's really busy. <laughs> and it becomes the <laughs> running gag throughout the show yeah. that I'm setting Consuela up to do all of these impressions in fancy dress. And, and pretending I'm a different person every time, yeah. so it looks like there's lots of people in the hotel. Yeah, but what what type of impressions do you do? Uh, well, we do eighties ones really. So um, I do a little bit of Margaret Thatcher, who <laughs> spoke like that to Dennis. No, no, no! <laughs> it's your turn to put the ruddy bins out. And uh, sorry, I said ruddy. <laughs> that's not really that's swear. Fine, you're right for that one. Yeah. And um, and then I do um, Scylla, our oh, lovely Scylla, of course, saying, "All right, surprise, surprise! You're in Club <laughs> Tropicana. You've come on holiday, and you've ended up in this place. All right, oh." oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lots of her. Oh, that's we do a favorite. bit of Shirley Bassey. Who else do we do? A bit of um, Bowen. Bit of Dolly Parton. A bit of Dolly Parton. Jolene, 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 Jolene. I can't do it. <coughs> I need to get into voice. But she also, has, voice. she also has the amazing costumes to match as well, which oh, is double the comedy. Honestly, How yeah. does Shirley Bassey look then? Well, she doesn't. It's not what um, she looks like. It's what she sounds like. Oh, really. okay, right, yeah. Although one night when I was learning the part, we were a little bit uh, all over the place. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I came on half-dressed. You're right there, Joe. Well, he's laughing because... Because I was supposed to come on as Shirley Bassey, but I had on the wrong outfit, and I looked like Michael Jackson in what in was the that? Earth, the Earth Song video. I came on with <laughs> a shirt hanging song. out on my trousers. <laughs> the door swung open. She was dressed in the wrong costume. Oh honestly. no! And she looked like Michael Jackson. Yeah, but I've only done that once. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, it's a very unglamorous role for me in that I play this this awful cleaner with a you know a very plain sort of costume. You know, she's got a cleaning outfit on and her rubber gloves, and then I transform into these characters. And it's very. It is a long way from. From, you know what people might have known me from in the past when I did look vaguely glamorous years ago, but anyway, it's it's, it's a lovely a great play. Role. It's yeah. lovely. It's a cro I play a cross between Mrs. Overall in Acorn Antiques and Manuel from Vaulty Towers. Love it. Love it. Um, you, you mentioned that you do an impression of Margaret Thatcher, and obviously in the eighties you were doing Spitting Image as the voice of Margaret Thatcher. That's right. Yes. And what was that like to a voice one yeah. of a really iconic? character yeah, yeah, I mean, and a really con iconic well, portrayal of that the character. Well, one played the Queen most of the time. One did the Queen's <laughs> voice, of course. Philippe, come on, let's walk the dogs and go out with the corgis. And I did the Queen. I did uh, Princess Diana, which didn't really, she didn't really have much of a, um, a, a voice that you remember. But I did all of the politicians of the time and um, it was fantastic, you know, and people people used to sort of really enjoy it and, and I think it was a way of enjoying politics. I don't know what they'd make of Brexit now, but uh, it'd be very interesting. Spitting image would have a feel, though. 
sell them, <laughs> sell them. I mean, you know, it's almost like a spitting image sketch at the moment, isn't it, really? <laughs> How many days to go? We still haven't got a deal. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've, no, I can't keep okay, trap it. I'm can't sorry I mentioned the B word on this show. Oh, and we're, no, we're oh, about so. it. Well, you know what? This show is absolute escapism it for is. that kind of thing, True. isn't it? It's just an easy... The, the thing is, I think, you know, sometimes theatre can be really kind of thought-provoking and, like, you have to sit there and really concentrate. With our show, we all take the mick out of ourselves. It's great music. It's great comedy. You don't have to do too much no. thinking. It does what it says on the tin. It's just... And it is you, quite prophetic in, in, in the way we sort of have a hint of things that might happen in the future. Somebody makes a comment about... Pesetas and says, Oh, wouldn't it be easier if they just had one currency for all of Europe? And someone said, Oh, don't be stupid, that's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, uh, and there's a reference to um, at the end about possible gay marriage. Yeah, and, because and obviously so, that wasn't allowed then either. Yeah, and it does make you realise actually in the 80s we're, it's so old fashioned, you know, yeah, now. Yeah. Um, Obviously, that's that's a stupid thing to say. Of course, the 80s is old-fashioned compared to now, but do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, uh, we've come a long way. We've prophesied quite a few yeah. things. Uh, one main difference is in uh, Eurovision. Eurovision is, you know, a completely mm. different mm. thing it was to uh, back in the 80s. And uh, Kate, you were part of, was it pre-Madonna? Was yes, right? we represented the UK in 1980 and we came third. And actually... I think we'd, we'd be glad if we came third these days. Cause I know, right? We'd yeah. come, I mean, we always oh. do so badly now. Well, we played Making Your Mind Up, which is a coin we'd... phrase of like this public vote show we have. Yeah. And, but we don't do Eurovision as well nowadays, No, do but we? we actually do the song Making Your Mind Up. Yeah, we up do a great routine at night. Nice. Yeah, it's a very funny routine. There, there are clothes ripped off at certain stages. <laughs> and I won't say whose clothes, but put it this way, it isn't the women who get the oh, clothes Okay, on. yeah, it's not what you'd expect. But honestly, it, the thing about our show, it's an antidote to uh, today's problems. And it's just... We just want everyone to have fun and sing and dance, clap. And, and honestly, the, the audience is going yeah. crazy. But do you know what? Even uh, like, even for us, we're you know we're, we're nearly a month into the show, maybe a bit longer now. I love it. And we have such a good time because the audience response is just so positive. And yes, you never have a nice way you come off stage and go, oh, that was miserable. We just come off stage laughing and joking. Yeah. And, and then people afterwards are just so wonderful. And, you know, what could... What, Aren't we lucky to have a job like yeah. that? We it's nice. Doing. You know, I've, I've, I've played roles where you where you have to play it straight down the line. It's very serious. And it's really nice to be a part of a show where it's quite fluid and you can kind of have a bit of fun with it. Yeah. You can vibe off the audience by how they kind of dictate where the jokes yes. go almost. Yeah. A little bit I mean, I've well. tried doing, you know, serious jazz singing about seven years ago. And I, and I went and I, I put one of my bucket list things was to sing at Ronnie Scott's club, you know, the great... Oh, yeah, I'll book tickets and I for did, my dad today. And I did, and I sang, and I got a gig there, and I did it with my band, and it was all terribly serious. But I knew the thing that was missing for me was that when I was on stage, I, I kept doing jokes and gags and a few impressions, and then people started laughing, and I remember thinking, I don't think they're supposed to be laughing that much in the jazz club. <laughs> well, no, but you can bring that vibe to a, to a concert. Can't can't you? Not to the mad idea. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, I, I, I could only imagine. I could only imagine. I just realised that. I was doing more comedy than I was singing. Yeah. So this is a great show for personally for me, and it's a great one for Joe because he leads the whole way. Yeah, Joe, tell me you've had such a wonderful journey ever since you know the X Factor back in was it ten years? Ten, ten years this oh, year, yeah. Wow. Ten years in December when I won, yeah. That's incredible, and uh, there's a kind of kind of six degrees of separation thing. Well, you know, it's called Club Tropicana, and uh, you sung with one of the singers George of that Michael. song, George Michael. That was yeah. your final it's song. Amazing! I was watching that on YouTube the other day. Oh, so was I, and I was, I've got goosebumps. Oh, I got that. goosebumps. Do you know what? Too. That it's, moment. It was. Uh, it, I still can't, kind of can't believe I got to do that because it, it literally happened within about two days. Uh, they told us I was going to sing Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, but they were f trying to find a duet partner. And then I got told on the Thursday night at about midnight, I got a phone call from the producers. And they said, we've got something to tell you. Um, you've got to keep it top secret. But George Michael has literally just agreed to come on the show and perform yeah, with you. Said, and my mum was the biggest fan. Like, the biggest fan. So I, I phoned her. I said, mum, you can't tell anyone. And she said, I don't believe it. And she said, I just don't believe it's going to happen. And she said, even, even on the night, she was in the television studio. And she said, I just had this awful feeling that the doors were going to open and he wasn't going to be there. And she said, David, <laughs> was going to come on instead. And she said, I just couldn't 
couldn't imagine you singing with them like it was just it's it, an amazing or maybe like that a Robbie Williams moment in X Factor when you couldn't open the door oh, so he yes. had to open it himself do you remember yes. that yeah, yeah. 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 stuck behind the door it was, his, it was his big comeback it was his first live performance yeah. that was in the ages. year we did that was him oh, that was yeah, our year was, yeah. oh, he didn't get stuck yeah, behind the door the mechanical door brought oh we've got one of those in our set I'll have to make sure <laughs> <laughs> I don't get stuck um, it's such a great show and apparently you, you told me off there that the audience goes wild on Saturdays yeah. right that, that's a perfect oh, night yeah. for it well they come you know with a good spirit uh, um, spirit around <laughs> spirit around them. I'm sure they're not like that in Norwich um, put it this way in Scotland it was wild um, no I think that you know people uh, there's lots of hen parties there's lots yeah. of men uh, who come with their wives and just want to hear the 80s songs and end up dancing in the in the aisles we know? had a lady what was that lady out in Scotland we, we in Lady the Gaga in the <laughs> <laughs> in the interval though in, in, we were waiting to go back on and they had to hold the show because this woman had decided to get up and dance to the interval music in front of the whole audience and all of these Scottish audience members were singing along cheering so we couldn't start out. the second half we couldn't start the second half of I the mean, show I mean it is quite right but anyway as I say Norwich won't be like that I mean we've had a lovely night last night actually the audience were, were, were on their feet they were amazing yeah. weren't they so we're being spot, we're being very week. spot with the audiences we're, we're all kind of we're waiting for that night where you don't get that extra loud audience but we've been very very lucky so far touch wood hang on um, I think this is real work, not imitation work. Mm, uh, uh, oh, there's some wood here. I'm touching your torch. Oh, right, there, there, there you go. There we go. Theatre Royal Norwich.co.uk for tickets. You can also ring the box office there. Uh, the run goes till Saturday, the 2nd of March. Uh, Gemma Kelder and Kate Robbins are in it. And I'm sure you'll do an absolutely fabulous job with your run in Norwich and for the rest of the tour. Thanks so much, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs>